Hi guys, my name is Landon McGregor and I'm the elementary kids director here at Waymaker Church. We are so glad you decided to join us today. We are in a six week series called Made in God's Image, where we will talk about how we are all made in God's image and how knowing this changes the way we view ourselves and treat those around us. We hope you enjoyed today's message.
here to share with you guys some exciting news. Whether you're watching this from home or right here at church, I first want to let you guys know that we love you guys so much. Your leaders wake up early in the morning just to see you guys because they love spending time with each and every one of you. Each one of you are loved by me, you are loved by your leaders, but even more so, you are so loved by God. He loves you so much that He even made you like Him. You are made in God's image, and that's the series we get to start today. Today, we get to learn how to have eyes to see people the way God does. I know you guys are ready for the PB&J show, and better yet, we have a surprise new co-host who is starting this week. She's so excited to get started with us. So. Without further ado, let's hear it for the PB&J Show. What's up, everyone? It's been a while, but we are back with the PB&J Show. I'm Peter. Oh, and I'm Erica. I'm so excited to be here for my debut on the PB&J Show, and we've got a great show for you today. Hmm. What? Sorry, uh, but that's what you're going with? I mean, for your big debut? Well, I think so. Seemed pretty natural to me, right? I don't know. I just, I just feel like it's missing something. Okay, well, you're the expert. What do you suggest? Uh, maybe just try being a little bit more excited. Excited. Uh, no, not exactly like that. Do, do something more like, uh, what's up, everybody? I'm Urku. What's up, what's up, what's up? Ba -ba 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 <laughs> Peter, I don't think so. That. That's not me. That sounds like Zach Buckholt or Tyler Lower or something. It's just not me. One suggestion though, I do think you need to change your outfit. Really? I think this represents me pretty well. I didn't realize we had to get in costume for this. I thought you just kind of wanted me to be myself and help you host the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's you're just missing something. It's uh, you know what? I think I'm, I might have something over here. Uh, oh, what? Look at that. Perfect. This will work. We'll just put that there. That's easy. And then bah, bah, bah. Peter and Abracadabra. Oh Perfect. Peter. And then now all we need is just a little bit of black for oh the God, mustache. Peter. Peter Graham Johnson. Whoa. Sorry to use my mom voice on you. Tricking you a little out of hand. Yeah, the, fair, I guess. What is all this about? The hat, the cape? What's going on? You were trying to draw a mustache on me. It's not you. It's me. I, I just really miss Jez. Don't get me wrong, I was so happy when you said that you were down to do the show with me, but it's weird not, not doing it with, with Jez. I'm just a little bit sad about that, but don't get me wrong, I'm glad you're here. It's just, I thought maybe if I had you wear some of Jez's old stuff, and I know the mustache may have been a little bit far, but I thought maybe if we did that, maybe it would feel a little bit normal for me? Well, making me wear a hat and a cape isn't gonna make me more like Jez. But I can do something that Jez would do and help you with the problem. There's a story in Genesis that I'm sure you've heard before, but I think it's gonna make you feel better. Stories of the Bible, Adam and Eve. God made the whole world and everything in it. He made the sun and the stars in the sky. He made the fish in the sea and the animals that walk on land. He made every tree and flower. God also made man. Hurry! God said, let us make man to be like us. They will reign over all the animals and fish of the world. So God created man and woman. Hi! Oh, hi! The first man was named Adam. That's me! And the first woman was called Eve. That's me! Then God blessed them and gave Adam and Eve jobs to do. Let's do this. They were supposed to take care of all the animals that God had created, like the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Adam and Eve were also supposed to have children to fill the earth with more people. Then God looked over all he had made and he saw that it was very good. Oh, wait, wait, wait hold, hold on a second. We are made in God's image. I mean, that's crazy amazing that God would want to create something that reflected himself. Yeah, and the same way, like, you have your mom's eyes or maybe your dad's personality or even the talents of your grandfather. 
God even more so made us in his image to reflect his character, kindness, and personality as his children. Well, hold on, wait. So that means not only am I made in God's image, but so are other people around me that are even different from me. I mean, there's people that God created that look and act different from me, but they still reflect the image of God. Though God made Adam and Eve in his own image, both looked different, acted different, and even had different things to offer. Both were made in God's image and both were given a job, which was to take care of God's creation. Wow, I mean, how awesome would it to be Adam and Eve and be in charge of taking care of God's creation? That's crazy. Well, Peter, I'm glad you said that because actually God gives us all that same job even today. He's also called us to love and care for his creation all over the world. And do you know what that creation is? What? People. We reflect God's image and so do people that look, act, and live different than us. God created them and one of our jobs is to love them the way Jesus would and take care of God's creation. Wow, that's such a good reminder, Erica. We are all made in God's image. That should be our big idea for today. Great idea, Peter. Let's say that all together. We are all made in God's image. So kids, remember this week that God created you like him. So when you feel insecure or wish you had someone else's talents, remember that God made you like him. And he loves how he made his children. Exactly, Peter. And when you guys see someone who is different from you, maybe they have different skin color or different height or age, or maybe they have special needs, remember that they are also made in God's image. And God has given us a job to take care and love all of his creation, including people that are different from us. Wow, you were so right, Erica. You know what? I think I owe you an apology. I know it was wrong of me to try and make you be a little bit more like Jez because I know that you're gonna bring you know, your own talents and wisdom and fun to the show and it's gonna be awesome in its own way. You know what, <laughs> now that I think about it, I don't think anyone else could do this as good as you are right now. Well, you know, except for you know, Scooby-Doo, obviously, but he's really booked at the moment. And he's a dog. <laughs> well, yeah, he also has a very extensive acting career. You should look him up on IMDb and see some of his awards, you know, but I think he's more than capable. <laughs> right. Well, that's our show. I'm Peter. And I'm Erica. And we're the PB&J Show. We'll see you next week. Very nice. Thank you. Wow, I love that the PB&J Show is officially back in action. I'm so glad that Peter eventually recognized that we are all different, but we are all made in God's image. And that includes Erica. Let's say our big idea together, loud and proud. We are all made in God's image, and that means all of us. Our memory verse for this month is Ephesians 2.10. It'll be on the screen so you can say it aloud with me. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Ephesians 2.10. I am God's child, and so are you. God has given us eyes to see people as children of God. While we will never be perfect like God because we live in a sinful world, we can live our lives knowing God's truth about us and those around us. Before we worship together, I would love for all of us to fight against some lies we've believed about ourselves. In just a second, your leader is gonna go around and give you a name tag. I want you guys to write a lie you've believed about yourself on that tag. Maybe that you aren't smart enough, you don't feel like you're good enough, you don't feel like you're talented enough. You know that one thing that you feel discouraged about. Write it down, and then what I want you to do is I want you to go up to the front at the cross and I want you to rip it up. And I want you to throw it in the trash can. Throw away that lie today. Your leader will give you a new one. And what I want you to do with that new tag is I want you to write, I am God's child. God has chosen you for big things, and you are a child of God. He's so proud of who you are. We're going to listen to a new song together as we do this. Leaders, I want you guys to start by sharing a lie you've believed for a long time, and you know you need to rip up today and replace with God's truth. Then kids, I want you to follow. If you're at home with your family, 
Join along with us during this time, wherever you are. Let's take back some ground from the enemy today. That the highest king would welcome me I was lost but he brought me in Oh his love for me Oh his love for me Who the sun sets free Oh is free indeed I'm a child A slave to sing, Jesus died for me. Yes, he died for me. Who the sun sets free. saying no to the devil's lies and yes to God's truth, that we are his children and we are made like him. Now we just listened to a song during the response time. Now I want all of you to stand up to your feet and we're going to worship God together and proclaim that same song of truth loud and proud together. Let's worship together, thank God for who he is and who he is in our lives. Worship team, you can come to the front and let's worship. That the highest king would welcome me I was lost but he brought me in Oh his love for me Oh his love for me Who the 
deciding to join us today. We hope God spoke to you through today's message. If you have any questions at all or ways we can be praying for you, you can email me at landon.mcgregor at waymaker.church. Also, we would love for you to follow along at our Instagram and Facebook page, as well as subscribing to our YouTube channel. We can't wait to see how God is moving in your family's life. Have a great week.